we're going to just kind of lay this out and say like, this is what the database is going to look like. We're making a website. I don't know what that's going to look like yet. So I guess we should just get into this. Oh, that totally looks does. so cool. That's what's about to happen. It's hacking time. Yeah, baby. We got the, we got it. We got it. So what we're going to be working on is the data model for the app that we're building. The data model is essentially what the database is going to look like once we stand it all up. This is just so, I mean, I just wish we could, can I just start a new one? Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I guess I, oh boy. Modeling in my, what it does that helps me figure out walking into it. When I make stuff in Rails, I'll just generate all the models. And in Rails, I want to get the models right up front. And then I can just, it helps my workflow to have them all done when I start. So this doesn't really let you visually model. You're just going to have to use this DSL to model. Wonderful. We're going to want a user table table user and then do the brax uh we're gonna want an id that's gonna be an integer and primary key and increment okay so that's just like one thing per line ah it shows up right over there all right so you'd sign up now we're probably gonna have people sign up with their email because it'd just be easier for us var card. Right, so var card <laughs> is the is the thing that it wants us to do here so email is one thing we're gonna need a password as well which would be another var card a created at timestamp um, we'll probably need a user class. I'll just say class, which will be an enum. I'll, I'll type in the, the, the so be admin or just user. Okay. So that covers the initial stuff that you will want. Now, once we get in there, yeah, we have the email, then we have these tokens. So we'll do some token generation stuff. We all, we know that we're gonna have a discord token and a Twitch token. Um, those can be re-rolled. Well, we could do timestamps on them, but I would just leave them alone. We're going to need a token for early access for our car and a token for the account. Okay. I don't think we need to keep, uh, whatever the, uh, whatever I'm trying to think of the name for it. We don't need to keep a blog of people requesting tokens. I don't think it's that big of a deal. No, it looks like for the enum for the enumerable items, we can actually show this. Is that going to bind it up here? There is absolutely no example of this. <laughs> there is none. Ah, so you, you just literally tap in user classes like that. Okay. And then I can hover it and see them. Okay. That's pretty cool. Very tiny font though. This guy is also a fan of tiny boy fonts. Uh, let me see the docs. Is there a way to say, I want this to be unique using DBML, DBML. The funny thing is I'm not, I'm just going to use this as, yeah, screw it. We're just going to use this as sort of a visual reference. Next thing up. So if we have the table of all the users that will hold everybody, I think that's everything that they'll need to log in. I don't know. We might be missing something in here. Devise will add that stuff in. So Devise is literally going to plug in like login attempts, um, password reset tokens, all that crap. Now we could do is we could flatten the balance. Why don't we do that? So we're going to have a flattened balance and then a transactions that we'll make a table for. So let's do a table for transactions. We'll have a user ID, users.id. There we go. Look at that. It just connected it right up there. Perfect. Now the transactions may have redemptions in them as well. Like, so if they're a type of redemption, we're going to link it to a record type is a little i think type and the word the word class and the word type are a little bit off limits when it comes to writing stuff in databases right so we could say u class and then t type a t type will be an enum but again we're going to do this with a special enum so it's going to be transaction types uh so what do we have redemption we have twitch stop auto completing and we'll add other ones as we need them. Now, if the, um, if there's an ID associated with it, we'll just do T type ID. Oh, we should probably just say redemption ID integer referencing a table we haven't made yet, but we'll make it in a minute. Now, is there anything else we'd want in there? 
Oh boy. So this is where it gets complicated. So if there's only one way for them to earn some of this stuff, right? And then there's promotion. Oh, biggity, biggity boy. So there's a timestamp created at timestamp. There's an amount, which would be an integer, positive or negative, but it might not be smart to do the transaction types. So transactions is where we're going to hold all the ins and outs of the account, but there's going to be separate ones. So this is where we can, as admins, we can add these things. I'm trying to think. So maybe we do call this rewards. So the rewards need a cost and an integer, and then they need a category. This will let me build these things out from a backend, but it lets me change the title here that will then change it over here. What is the problem here? You need a space there? Okay. So that should cover the rewards, right? That you've got these things that when they go to redeem them, we'll cover them in a redemption thing, which will then like say, okay, it was redeemed and here's the codes for it. And then it will log in the transactions to reduce the points. And what'll be easy about this is we're going to kind of link this all together. So these amounts are gonna fix in stone. So let's make the redemptions table. Oh, oh we missed something in the users. We're gonna do daily spins as an integer. What database will I be using? I'll be using Postgres. Now, since this is a redemption, we're gonna actually show a redeemed at, and if that's null, that status will mark as available. And if it's not null, it's got a stamp in it, we'll say claimed. We need the code, which will be a var car. We'll need the redemption reward ID. What else do we need? The amount. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna fix the amount in time as to how much it is. Now that also has to go to a user. So we'll do a user ID lookup on this. So users have transactions. There are rewards, which exist way the heck out over on the side here. What is this thing connecting to? Weird. Those rewards have categories, but then there's redemptions that connect those two things together. So we have reward ID here. We'll say redemption ID. Okay. Well, that's the, I think the big piece of the user system is right there. Now, some of this is going to be more CMS-y. So we've got all this stuff covered. We have the codes, we have the, if it's been used, we have who used it, the amount that it costs so that can generate this table. We have the points which are flattened out so that can generate this piece of information. Let's go to the dashboard. So you know what? We do have redemption ID. I think we could do both. Okay. Ways to earn. This is probably going to be static. I think, <laughs> I think this will all be static until we have more stuff figured out. We're not going to have a lookup table for the points. Although I guess we could build it. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's have a table just called, um, earn methods. So we need an action name. Well, we need a category and action name, etc. The action is a var car. That would be the word like make a purchase. Um, the amount is how much you can get awarded, which is an integer. The, then there's going to be a little amount extra to do things like add that slash $1 net thing. So the action name, we have the amount for the action, the amount extra. We probably want to have a earn method categories possibly, because then you can, you could generate this stuff in or maybe not. Maybe we just manually stick it in. So I'll create it at, so probably have an amount cap. So what else are we going to need? We're going to need not a lot. The earn method is just, it's a standalone table. Although I guess you could, you could stick it back here on the t-type when they're earning so we could say we could call this earns <laughs> that's a horrible thing to call it and then over in transaction say there's an earn id this daily balance thing is going to be nuts to figure out you're gonna uh, well that's a query right we're gonna have to ask a query to say like based on the date start adding stuff up i feel like i'm missing something we have a twitch bot which can send commands we have a Discord bot, which can send commands. You have a way to thank people from one user to another. Oh, geez. Oh, the users table needs to have all the account linking. We need to say like, there's a token for discord. And then there needs to be like a discord account Varkar. 
because that's how we're going to associate. So I don't know exactly how this works, but it might be like your username or something like that. that you just to verify that's your username. We need a Twitch account. Anything else that we could be missing here? I'm going to walk through in my head when I think I'm missing. So early access accounts and account tokens. I think we're, we're going to need a user links table or connection, user connections. So let's move this, this stuff away from the user table itself and we'll stick it into user connections just so we have a little bit of room here and we can make it a little more expandable in the future. So I have an ID, obviously, int, PK, increment it. All right, so to keep this homogenized, uh, we'll need a name, the linked account, the account link or whatever, right? So a name and the linked account. So let's first connect it to the user ID. That's probably fine user connection dot name. That would make sense to me. And then we probably want a C type, which would be uh, an enum, which we're going to, let's write the enum right here. It's going to tell it where to stick it over here. So the linked account is just going to be whatever this is. Let's just see how this is all going to look. So user connections come off, comes off the user table. Yeah, the rewards, the reward categories. Boom. The earnings connect to the transactions. Transactions link together like a lot of stuff. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up right there. But yeah, I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks a lot. But again, thanks guys for hanging out.